We will call the uh, July 6, 2022 meeting of Green and Board of Public Works and Safety to order at 5.30 p.m. Uh, we'll call to it tomorrow. Mr. Hoover? Here. Mr. Qualvin? Here. Mr. Rutherford? Here. Thank you. We have two sets of minutes to consider tonight. Uh, the first one let's do is the June 6, 2022 minutes. Any corrections, additions, or deletions for that? Okay, that is a motion for approval as presented. Second. Further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. And then uh, our second one is the June 20th meeting. Again, I'm assuming no correction addition or deletion from staff. I'll second. Further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Next. Um, I'm going to look at the for homeowner from 1295 Old Heritage Place in Greenwood Station. Uh, is the homeowner on line with us? Yes, I'm here. Good evening, Sanjay. Um, we have a, a memo. I'm assuming and hoping that you do as well regarding uh, your request. Do you have that? Yes. And our staff has recommended four. Um, Conditions to your fence encroachment request. Have you seen that? Portion? Yes. Do you have any problems with any of those conditions? No. Okay. Are there any questions for uh, either staff or uh, the homeowner? I don't have any questions. Okay, thank you. I would move that we approve the request subject to those conditions outlined in the report. <coughs> Further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. All right. All right. Motion passes. Thank you very much. Have a good rest of the afternoon and evening. Thank you. I do have one quick question. Sure. Um, will I, how will I, will I get a letter saying that this has been approved in that sense or just use the memo? Well, there will be minutes of this meeting, which will have the approval outlined in it, uh, will be available after our next meeting, our first meeting in our second meeting in July, excuse me. So that'd be the July 18th, 18th meeting. July 19th. Is it available? So after that, they'll be available, and that'll be your documentation uh, for that. If you need it sooner, I can email you the draft next week. Okay, could I please have it sooner if that's possible, just because the HOA is requesting it? Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. And I'm able to log off, yes? Yes. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. Bye bye. Mr. Deputy Mayor of City Center Janitorial Services. Good evening, Chairman Laughlin. For the record, I'm here before you this evening asking uh, for consideration of uh, taking a new contract and addendum to the current one. Virtually, uh, our uh, renters off the third floor uh, are leaving us, one set of renters, and they're going up to uh, office in Broad River. So with that office, their their actual uh, house cleaning was done by them. The new people that's rented that space, we would need to complete that housekeeping like we do for the rest of the building. And then also uh, they've rented out uh, the main office and then we've also rented out three offices uh, in the back side of this same area, <clears throat> separated by a hallway. And so that'll have another vendor in there. So uh, with that, two things with the contract changes. Just number one, uh, we currently have the building clean three days a week with restroom being cleaned five days a week. Now we'll go to five days a week cleaning along with, you know, match for the restroom to be. And then adding this additional, <coughs> day, the fee for that is increasing uh, a total of $5,000 for that space and the two extra days. That's what the agreement would be. Uh, we currently have a budget in place to pay for the, what has been done. Uh, Great. With this, the, the extra funding is within the budget line item or which is something that comes out of your, we'll have to put it three hours. I'd ask uh, this is approved, that be signed by the mayor. 
questions? Any further questions for Terry? Motion for approval. Be second. Second. Further discussion? Terry, none. All in favor say aye. Uh -huh. Aye. Thank you very much. Thanks, Terry. There's Todd. Penny, how are you? I'm good, Eric. Good. Stephen, I'm just here like to, to request the, the, the approval to work with the finance department legal to enter into a lease agreement with Huntington as part of our Huntington master lease, which you guys have this board of governors. Uh, for the purpose of, I will be approaching the stormwater board. Get approval to purchase a 2022 busher vacuum street sweeper. Uh, so that we need to lease them out to be in $300,000. Very kind of highlighted that this is uh, this board's to approve, but uh, who's going to be actually big department? Storm will buy it, street operates. Storm pays for it. Storm pays for it. Storm and we're trading in our 2016. We are in the amount of 41,000. So the actual purchase will be 295. I think Arizona yeah. said 300 just to cover any odd things that might pop up there. Okay. Questions for Todd? Is there a motion to approve this? So moved. Second. Further discussion? Are you going to all say aye? Aye. Right. Thank you. Thanks, Todd. So we'll go to Chad Orton of Beaver Homes or Barton Lake Section <coughs> One. We'll start there. Chad, are you with us? Yes, I am. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Let's do Barton Lake Section One first. Okay, we uh, have completed all the repairs on the sidewalks associated with the bond in Section One, and we are requesting the performance bond to be released with a waiver of maintenance guarantee because of the longevity of the um, submittal of the, the or the the longevity of the performance bond. Looks like this is an unconditional approval. It's the same as we're going to be doing for the next two following sections. Yep. Okay. Questions for Chad or Mark? Also for the discussion? Now, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. And then, Chad, section five looks like it's identical request, identical reasons. Yes, sir. Identical requests in five as well. So, we've uh, completed all the repairs and uh, just requesting a waiver of the maintenance guarantee and release of performance. I'll move for approval of that. Second. Second. Further discussion? Carry on. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Nobody likes a second. <laughs> okay. And uh, Chad, then we're going to section six. Same thing. Same thing. Uh, request and re uh, request a waiver on maintenance guarantee and release of performance bond on sidewalks and six. Second. Further discussion. Carry on. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Thanks, Chad. Have a good evening. I'd just like to say real quick uh, to the board that it has been a pleasure to work with the city of Greenwood staff on all these legacy projects and trying to get all this behind us so that uh, we all have just the uh, the current projects on our on our uh, agendas in the future. So I really appreciate the help from uh, Paul Pioni and his staff. So we're, we're working on uh, Grassy Creek. Uh, villages section four and six, and when we're done with that, all of the legacy projects for uh, Crossman and Beezer Homes will be behind us. Chad, thanks for the comments. We'll try to keep that away from Paul so he doesn't get big. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Have a good evening. You too. Uh, next, we'll turn to anyone from the audience wish to address us, either here in the building or online. Hearing none, Mr. Hudson, we have an IDM compliance plan status update. Um, also, with IDM, we're current on all of our reports. Right here. Let's go to your council uh, status and tasks. 
Um, first up is uh, consideration of ratification of outdoor street body agreements with Duke. Uh, the agenda is mistaken that uh, uh, two locations are, at, are accurately set forth in the email you received, one light in Central Park and four lights in Featherstone. Questions for Sam on this? Motion completely accepted. <laughs> <laughs> move, I'll move for approval. Just to <laughs> I'll say. Thank you. Further discussion? Is there an on the radio say aye? Uh, aye. I'd just like to see you squirm over now. <laughs> Next up is the Northeast Trail Loop Project. This is a project that is being funded by uh, federal HUD, HUD money. Uh, it has been approved by HUD uh, and All Star Paving Inc. was the uh, a little bit. I would move to approve the trail project and award the. Are we awarding the contract? Yes. yes. And award the contract and I'll start paying. Second. Okay. Further discussion? Any favor say aye. Aye. Motion passes. Thank you. Uh, next up is. Um, uh, a resolution to uh, authorize use of electronic signatures for Huntington Public Capital Corporation. Um, this is because Huntington is no longer accepting web signatures. Um, if it's your pleasure, we could bring uh, a resolution next meeting to allow for all contracts because this is probably going to be way, way, way too true. Yeah. But for now, we just need it with Huntington. I'll move that we have passed resolution 22 006. All set. Little discussion? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Mark, you got it. Yes. Uh, the first item on my set of tasks is approval of change order number one for the 2021 community crossing smashing grant, each and every juvenile project. Uh, this was a pavement preservation project that occurred along Worsville Road. Uh, the work has been completed. Uh, we've gone out and field measured the work that was done in the field. Uh, and the final total comes in 7.88% uh, below the original contract amount. So we had estimated quantities on the aerials for the contract and the field measure. <laughs> Um, and approval of this would be authorizing the mayor to sign on the board's behalf, change order on the board's behalf. Questions for Mark? How did the project turn out? Turned out uh, well. There's not much to see. Um, I don't know if you've been out there and seen it. The idea, yeah, the idea behind it, the best way to describe it is it's, it's essentially a, a lotion for the roadway. So as asphalt ages, it loses its bituminous content, what makes it flexible and, and sticky and the idea behind it is to return some of that bituminous that uh, rejuvenate the asphalt pavement. So, um, not much to see, but the thought is it'll it'll keep a good road good for for still a long time. Yeah. Is this the first one that we've done? Uh, no, and I, I couldn't tell you where we've done it out since it was done before my time. But I know we have done other projects in years past. I would say this is probably the highest visible location we've done. Motion for approval. So moved. Second for the discussion. Very good. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion passes. Uh, the next item I have before you is uh, acceptance and execution of inspected and inspection and testing agreements and uh, acceptance of performance guarantees for uh, Farmersville Utilities and Stones Crossing paint replacement. Um, they'll be replacing the, the water tower there near 135 and Stones Crossing Road. Questions for Mark? Why are we uh, issuing inspection and testing on that? Isn't that? So it's, it's located within the city of Greenwood, so it's similar to any sort of uh, uh, commercial site development that we would, it went through our commercial site development process. But it, I thought utilities were exempt. Makes sense. Okay. We would not be testing the water lines or anything. No, it was just, just for the foundation. The, like the storm center, that sort of thing. Okay. I would approve the 
acceptance with the execution of inspection testing agreement. Yes. Um, the next item I have for you is the Swords Crossing Commercial Subdivision. Um, you will recall at the last regular meeting, the board approved uh, the Swords Crossing development to fully close Stones Crossing Road for the roadway improvements associated with that development, um, subject to uh, solidifying commitments with the Engineering Division and Community Development Services. Uh, the last two weeks, we've worked through these commitments with them. Uh, I wanted to present them for you tonight, just so that uh, they would be solidified in the minutes, um, so that you can see them since you approved it. But we have authorized them to to begin the work as necessary out there. And that's all. Going through that all looks to be consistent with our directions at the last meeting. Great. Yep. And I, yeah, I don't think there's any steps needed tonight. I just wanted to bring that back for you so you can see it. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate that. Thanks, sir. Jeffrey, Matt, and take care of that. Thank you. Um, the, the next item I have here is a, a memo. I just I, I presented you hard copies tonight. I uploaded uh, electric, electronic copies to the, to the share folder right before the meeting. I do apologize for the, the, late, the late completion of this that you didn't have a chance to see this sooner. Um, at the last regular scheduled board meeting, we, we heard a request to use uh, cement dust instead of uh, cement slurry like we require. Um, that's due to a uh, material supply issue that it seems to be facing central Indiana. Uh, and to get out ahead of this, uh, I put together this, this memo uh, as requested by the board. Um, so we're aware that uh, cement material may be currently difficult to obtain in the present construction market. Uh, we have been notified by private developers that local suppliers will not be able to provide cement slurry for chemical subgrade modification. Uh, our current standard detail sheets, as last modified by this board in June of 2017, require cement slurry to be used for chemical stabilization of a roadway subgrade. Um, there was uh, several reasons for this modification, and I've included those minutes in that packet I, I submitted to the board tonight. Um, just towards the end of that packet, if you're interested in rereading why you approved that. Um, primarily, it was um, to address concerns raised by dust created by, by, by modifiers. Um, I do want to note that our standards do not require that roadway subgrade be chemically stabilized. Uh, rather, our current details allow for a reduction in the amount of stone subgrade uh, if chemical stabilization is elected to be used. Um, that being said, developers and community development services, we like when roads are chemically stabilized. Um, it's a it's a better product. So when they go out there and they strip away the old old roadway, we would have them proof roll the subgrade, the existing subgrade. If it fails, we have uh, identified locations where they need to undercut it and add additional stone. And they put their stone subgrade on top of that, and they would proof roll that stone suit, proof roll that stone subgrade. Um, if it fails that proof roll, they have to undercut it again, and they have to continue to undercut and add stone until it passes a proof roll. So there's kind of a, an unknown cost factor in it if they use the stone cross section. Um, whereas if they go out and they chemically stabilize it, probably more than nine times out of ten, it passes the proof roll the very first time. So they like it because it's a known upfront factor cost for them. Uh, we like it because it, it does provide a better road subgrade. Um, so I just wanted to make note of that as well. Um, so what we're asking tonight is that we request the Board of Public Works and Safety to temporarily suspend the requirements for the use of cement slurry for chemical stabilization of roadway subgrade and permit the city engineer to approve the use of other chemical modifiers for subgrade stabilization on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, and then I've outlined several conditions that we would place on the use of, of the dust modifier to kind of hopefully try to mitigate some of those concerns that were raised by the board in 2017. Um, we would require the developer and contractor to notify us one business day in advance of comm commencement of stabilization work so that we can ensure we can be on, step on site to watch it occur. Um, that they provide dust control, uh, that uh, chemical modifier not be applied when wind conditions create problems in adjacent <coughs> areas or create hazards to traffic on adjacent roadways. Uh, that they only place as much chemical modifier as they can incorporate into the soil within the same workday. Uh, and that, of course, our 
preparation, inspection, and approval requirements for subgrade, um, as outlined in our standard details, still still applies. Uh, so that's uh, that's what I presented to you. I'm happy to answer any questions as, as best I can. Mark, if we uh, would just suspend the requirement to uh, as uh, passion to note the bullet points, the ways you're going to do that, sort of for your our information, but not part of the requirement. Uh, I not, uh, yes, correct. Because I currently have a percentage. that discretion to you when yes. you're reviewing these things. Call yes. it case by case basis. Yes. Okay. I think that makes sense. Well, I'm going to be temporarily suspend the requirement to use CMS solar for chemical stabilization and roadway subgrade. We're sitting here to produce other chemical modifiers for subgrade stabilization on a case by case basis in December 31, 2022. Sorry. For discussion. And then I'll go to say aye. 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 Thanks for doing so quick. Yeah. And again, I apologize if you have to use it. The last item on here is um, resolution 22-05, a resolution of the Board of Public Works and Safety of the City of Greenwood designating a temporary all-way stop at the intersection of Meridian Street and Serena Way. Um, if you've been here in downtown Greenwood, you've likely noticed that. Um, Madison and Main Street has been closed. Currently, Indiana American Water is out there um, relocating a water line at that roadway. Um, our streetscape project will come closely on the heels of, of that and uh, do their work around the corner there on, on Main Street, um, and it'll use the same detour route. So um, Madison Street is closed to through traffic at Serena Way. It's open to local traffic, and we're trying to detour uh, through traffic along Market Plaza and Serena Way to either side of that road closure. Um, with that detour, uh, an all-way stop has been placed at Serena Way and Meridian Street. Um, as you, this board is, is aware, uh, stop controls are subject to our city ordinance that lists them in our, in our tables. Um, so we need to modify that to allow it for a, a temporary all-way stop so that it's enforceable at that intersection. Um, the Indiana Manual of Uniform Traffic Control Devices, which is kind of the standard, well, it is the standard that we use for traffic control devices, uh, states that portable or part time stop or yield signs shall, shall not be used except for emergency and temporary traffic control zone purposes. Um, so, as the city engineer, I'm of the opinion that it's an acceptable place to put an all way stop control. Um, we will also be investigating uh, making that a permanent always stop control, but that does require a full engineering study that you will see at a, at a later date. I, 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 I think it, it will too. Generally, you want to see traffic balanced on all sides. Um, there's also uh, there's been turning conflicts, crashes that occurred out there at a certain number of to the standard that it hits a certain number, it's subject to an always stop. When do you have to event. do that study after we open Main Street back up? For the traffic volume, it probably would have been best to do it before we, we closed it, yes. Yeah. But there are other items we can look at other than traffic volumes to justify an always stop. Motion for approval. I'll second. Further discussion? And that's it for you, Mark. That is it. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Right, and thanks for your office. Thanks for approval. Goodbye. I'll second that. Further discussion. Right now, I'm here to say that. Uh, uh, <laughs> General, we'll stand adjourned at 5:55 p.m.